<laughs> it looks like Timo loves somebody or is loved, but then someone stepped in the middle of it as if to say, I step on your love, Timo. And then of course, Timo's love will be lost in the wind very soon. Perhaps should have chiseled it into marble instead. Timo. to go into one of the dunes here at the White Sands National Park and um, and uh, there's the place where we pulled up over there and here we go just come over the, this dune and we're I'm a little out of breath from that dune but it's not too bad and we're looking out on the white, white sand. It's so cool. Beautiful. I took the advice to bring some water along. It's so bright out here. You, they tell you that you should wear sunglasses. And it is so very bright. I got a little off the trail. There it is. I don't know how I managed that. Okay, back on the trail now. Just a little, went a little off. So climbing up these, these sand, the loose sand is oh, quite the workout. Some of it is packed hard and it's easier, but this is loose, looser. It's good exercise though, and it is fun. This area I came in, I think. So look at this strange formation. It almost looks like um, somebody with a questionable toupee on their head that needs a lot of work in the back. I think I've gotten off the trail again. So let's try to get back on. I thought that was a lookout up there, but I think it's not. I think those are natural sticks and wood and not man-made as I thought. I do know the parking lot is right there, so we're not in too much trouble or anything. <clears throat> but I can see how someone could get lost out here. Easily. And there we are. We found a marker again. So we're back on the trail. What's this? A tree? Some shade? Is it a mirage? Some respite from the blazing sun? Amkuji, our planet is, for the most part, moist and slimy but <clears throat> here on earth there are so many different uh, terrains and climates and ah look at this wonderful tree thank you tree i do not understand the markings at all I've uh, wandered a little bit from the last marking to 
taking what I thought was the logical route, looking for another marking. Oh, I see some markings now. Okay. Just keep your eyes super sharp, Gugujians, and bring some water and you'll make it. Well, now in retrospect, it seems clear. This marker here was uh, uh, sort of in the middle of these two dunes, intending me to follow here, whereas I thought the marker was intending me to walk to the right of it with my left hand anyway. <clears throat> ah, and if I would have taken a few more steps and tried this direction first, I would have seen this. We'll get the hang of it, folks. I just passed a hiker who told me, he, he had bare feet, he told me that the sand in this area, where it's kind of brown a little bit, was hot, but that in the white sand, it was not too bad. So I do wonder if there's a temperature difference between the white and the brown sand. Hmm. I believe this hike was just a little over a mile, but it, it feels longer than that because some of the areas is quite hard to walk in the sand and you're trudging along takes a lot of energy. So just to keep in mind. Well, <clears throat> I almost nearly did not take their advice to carry water along because I thought it's just a mile, but I'm so glad that I did. It's, I'm sure I would have made it out with out water, but it's so nice to have on this hike. Also, they had a second sign that said, you must have water. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to follow the rules. All right, let's give this a try. I'm going to climb up. Okay. Not too bad. <sighs> Not too bad. That was easier than some of the other ones. The sand is a little more packed. <sighs> and there's my water bottle. Whew. humans arguing in the distance. I hope they can work it out. I'm sure they can. He said he was not going to put up with it. I couldn't quite hear what her grievance was. Something about his walking. Anyway, I was going to do. So, oh, I was going to say something about the two footprints in the sand. My assumption was that they were made at the same time, and they were made, perhaps a couple, like this couple who was just arguing. But before they were arguing, and they were barefoot, and they were happy, and they were walking in the sand. But it could have been that one person came along and walked barefoot. And another person came along and hours later and said, I want to be barefoot too. And made another path beside the other barefoot path. That's how it could have been. Two moments in time or one moment in time. Whew. My brain is getting an exercise too. I think we're... Getting close to, yeah, yes. There we go, there's the, the end of the trail, or the beginning of the trail, depending on how you look at it. It's back, back to the beginning. It's been a very philosophical walk in the dunes where I got lost for a moment in my mind. Not really lost, but just for a moment, didn't know exactly where I was. That's okay. As long as you don't get really, really lost. It's okay to get a little bit lost. We're walking out of a dock to a lookout. Should be nice.
12 miles an hour, so I suppose he's going a little faster than that. As we've driven further out, we've come to some hills which are more pristine and white with less vegetation. Very unique and unusual looking picnic area. Very nice. Oh, he was sliding. Did you see him? Nicely done, young man. I was pooping out, but I'm glad I went a little further because now I'm in an area towards the end of the, the loop, goes out in a loop and turns around where there's more pristine white sand and less uh, vegetation, shall we say. See what I mean? A lot of white. And by the way, and from my brain feed, I discovered that this sand is not like regular sand, but it is actually water soluble. So if there was a big, huge rainstorm, I suppose it could all melt, melt away in the water. Unlikely. It's a lot more. That's that's big. Wow. Wow. It's interesting. It was hard to get my bearings there. I thought that was just a straight white sort of runway. But then when you see the contour and the sun and the shade, you see that it is another hill. And it's not a pure white runway. <sighs> so my advice would be when visiting White Sands, the 1.1 mile hike in the beginning it's quite nice. I was expecting to see more pure white sand without any vegetation and I was very tired after the loop and I'm glad that I didn't just stop and think well that is white sands. Instead I went on out to the scenic loop and the scenic loop is where you see all the dunes with a lot of white sand with with no vegetation. That's really the the climax, if you will, of the, uh, this experience. So I would say, you could do the one mile hike, just remember what waits beyond. And it's on an unpaved road, as you can hear. You drive very slowly. And um, I've seen all sorts of cars on the road. So uh, I don't think there's any worry about getting stuck. It's a very solid road, and uh, that is what I would recommend. That was the highlight of my White Sands experience, I would say. Although I did have a very philosophical walk while on the trail. That was very valuable too. Hmm. A lot of good stuff here in White Sands. I'm heading west towards White Sands from Roswell and uh, 
the land is quite barren in this particular area. Barren of, even of uh, desert vegetation for the most part. But I do see a mountain peak in the distance. And I know that there are uh, mountains to the west. So it will be about a two hour and 20 minute drive today to White Sands. I can't wait. I love color on the earth, but I think the absence of color will also produce something quite spectacular. I cannot wait. And now about 22 miles on the trip out to uh, the west. You can see the terrain has started to change and started to become hilly. Still rather barren, but not flat anymore. So now that we are getting deeper into the hills, the, the trees are changing and uh, there are a lot of green valleys amongst the hills. Different trees, different bushes. It's interesting to witness the change in terrain. Trees started small and now they have grown as I've gone further west. I'm about 74 miles west of Roswell now and they're big and beautiful trees in these hills or mountains, mountains I suppose. Uh, I haven't seen any big peaks but I, I think I'm gradually climbing in altitude. is so interesting because now I am seem to be descending uh, again on the other side of the mountains and the trees are starting to change and they're not big tall trees they're smaller and it's becoming more desert like and and I think I'm, I'm coming out coming down the mountains to the other side where the uh, the white sands dunes are this terrain ahead. So the line of white, what is, is that the sand? It's amazing. 